Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWaveTestFocus.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is September 30th on Friday and the time is around 3 a.m. GMT. So today we're going to be looking at the Euro dollars right here, 60 minutes chart. Now we can see based on this count that uh, we are ending with 3 in the minor degree we have a partial label showing the subdivision here the one two three four five in the minute degree so this five waves uh, completed with three and then we are now doing a wave four rally in the form of a zigzag with the right side down which means it's still bearish and the blue box is the area where the rally could be uh, could be completed and then from here we can start to go down again either going to new low or at least doing a three-year pullback right so this is the area where we expect the rally to fail and continues to go down again all right so this is the shorter cycle let's zoom out a little bit to get some ideas about um, the the larger time frame so i'm going to copy this with three here on the daily time frame which is uh, right here <clears throat> right this is the daily <clears throat> the wave 3 here based on the one hour right so we are now doing wave 4 which means we are now looking to finish wave 4 and then from there we should be looking for another leg down okay all right so this wave 1 2 3 4 5 the subdivision is going to be too small to put it here but it's somewhere here like this 3 4 1 2 and so on so if this is your 3 and 4 in the minor degree in the in the daily time frame uh, we are talking about this is a 2 and this is a 1 basically right so we're talking about the main cycle that started from August 11 okay <clears throat> now um, let's even zoom out even more and look at the weekly time frame now this is the weekly time frame now i don't think anybody is going to argue that this move down in the tele index is an impulse right nobody is going to say this is corrective the, the structure is very impulsive and it is definitely an impulse now if we look at it from the 2018 we got a three swings so far if we measure the extension right we are uh, in fact well it depends on where you put the extension if you put it here because there could be a flat here right there could be a flat in the middle uh, then it hit the 1.618 if you put it again it is an impulse and an impulse do not end a three swing right impulse has to end in five ways right so uh, for now we only have a three swing but it may have already reached 1.618 which is typically where your third wave ends right in the larger degree here so this could potentially be close to ending this cycle from 2021 so you can think of it as with one with two and then this is with three right now uh, the question is is can can with three already ends yes so absolutely because it has reached 1.618 but is there a sign or evidence that it has ended in the shorter cycle and the answer is no there is no evidence whatsoever that it has ended it's still very bearish the momentum is still very bearish and you don't want to pick the low when the when the trend is clearly to the downside okay now um, because the structure is a five ways impulse right the only way so going back to the daily time frame this is the key here the only way we're not going to get another leg down the only way we're not going to get another leg down if is if this is somewhat somehow three and four and a five right three and a four and a five now if that's the case then we might be getting a larger degree rally if this is the end of wave five but for now that's not what we are calling we are calling this is actually one into here so the cycle started from august 11 instead of starting from september 13 so that's the key over there is which one do you think is which one the cycle should start from if it starts from august 11 then it needs another leg down because you don't end in three waves in an impulse 
but if the cycle started from here in in, in other words if this is actually three and four then yeah we could be ending here a larger degree um, you know larger degree with three for example and then we can see a larger degree rally from there right and so that if if we end with five already here this move it can become a five ways up and and therefore it can become something like this right but we have reasons to think that uh, this is actually now uh, still within the better count is something like this right and we explained this very clearly and we compare this with the structure of the Tau for example in the Tau futures and why we think this August 11 is a better starting point to count this instead of from the September 13 because if you compare the high here in the Tau this is comparable uh, sorry to in the euro uh, this is comparable to the high in the Tau uh, which is around August 17 okay so that's why as long as we stay below this pivot and uh, actually the blue box here is more important as long as we stay below this 1.618 then we should be looking for for the downside soon now uh, alternate could be finished here already and starts to go down but I think at this point better or ideally see a little bit more upside to reach this area before we fail and either we go to new low or at least a three years pullback from here okay so uh, again if you do want to get regular updates on the euro dollars or any other forex pairs commodities indices stocks feel free to take our uh, trial we have 14 days trial and the link is in the description of the video so see you all again next week have a nice day everyone